I'm back in my kitchen this time. It's been a while since I've done a soul cooking vlog, but that's what we're doing today. High demand for this one. I talk about cornbread and I show myself cooking cornbread and eating cornbread all over social media, but I have not done a vlog solely based on cornbread. And that's about to change. Yay. So first off, story time, story time. Growing up, I was fortunate enough to have two grannies. My mom's mother was Granny Austin. Austin was her last name. My dad's mother was Granny Grace. Grace was her first name. Both grannies were amazing cooks. Amazing. My One of my biggest regrets is not paying more attention to them in the kitchen instead of just eating their food, <laughs> but not paying more attention to how they cooked growing up. But I'm learning. So my granny Grace, who I was very close with and lived close to and was at her table an awful lot, she fried her cornbread, little cornbread patties. She fried it and basically, it was really hard for her cornbread to actually make it to the table because we would all stand around like vultures while she was cooking it and eat it right out of the pan. <laughs> it was just better that way. And then my granny Austin, who was from down in the eastern part of the state, a little place called Aurora, North Carolina, where my mom grew up, she baked her cornbread and it was also amazing. I remember her sending cornbread home with us when we would leave. We would usually eat a big meal. It seemed like we'd leave on a Sunday. So we'd eat a big Sunday lunch and then she would pile us up with cornbread and it usually didn't make it, I don't know, 10 or 15 miles before my brother, well, maybe me too, <laughs> finished it off. So they both had different ways of making cornbread and they were both great. And I have been trying to perfect both of their methods and I've gotten pretty dang good at it actually. Um, yeah, I guess I'm tooting my own horn there, but it's taken a lot of practice and just telling myself that I could. There's been so many things in the kitchen that I've just told myself, I can't do that. I can't make biscuits. I can't make cornbread. But the more I've tried, I've realized that it's really not rocket science, y'all. <laughs> it's not rocket science. It's just figuring it out. And cornbread has become a staple in our house and really not, not a hard thing to do. So today I'm going to show you two ways to make cornbread. Yeah, this is a tale of two cornbreads. So that's what we're doing. And this, y'all, is our beautiful cast of characters for today's vlog. One cup measuring cup and my favorite color. These are my favorite. Good old trusty wooden spoon that's been around the block a few times. Butter, probably gonna use more than a stick. Buttermilk, because buttermilk is awesome. White self-rising cornmeal mix from our good friends at House Autry. Canola oil. I just prefer canola oil. I like canola oil. I have friends who are canola farmers up in Canada. Shout out to the canola farmers and the chicken farmers. Egg. We need an egg. So that's what we've got now. Okay. Another little fun fact for today. House Autry is actually sponsoring this vlog. So yeah, I'm going to put that out there. They are. Thank you, House Autry. But I want to tell you this. House Autry has always, always, always been a staple in my family's kitchen. It's what my dad used as a mix for hush puppies, for bread and fish, for all our frying needs. House Autry was always synonymous as the best, and it's what I've always used since I've been starting to cook myself. As long as I've been perfecting it, I've been using House Autry. They make an amazing product. It's born and bred in North Carolina. Hello, hashtag got to be NC. And also, they're making amazing t-shirts now. The South, where the tea is sweet, the chicken is fried, the biscuits are homemade, and the cornbread 
is amazing. So just wanted to throw that out there. All right, we are going to preheat our oven to 425 and let her rip. Okay, let it be known that there are directions on the back of the bag that if you follow, we'll make some amazing cornbread. I don't follow them exactly because I'm not great at following directions and I kind of like to do things my own way sometimes. This calls for milk. I like buttermilk. It's just a little richer and richer is better when it comes to milk. I don't know. I think it is. Anyway, you, if you don't have buttermilk, you don't have to use buttermilk. You can use milk. But we're going to take a cup of that and a cup of that and about a tablespoon of that and an egg. And we're going to melt the butter in the pan while all this is being mixed up. Yes, you are seeing correctly. I use an entire stick of butter with my cornbread. Too much? Hmm, maybe. I don't know that you can ever really have too much butter though. So that's what I do. So I take my butter and my cold skillet and I was broiling something last night. I need to take this rack down. Excuse me while I do that. Okay, middle rack. Cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillets are life, y'all. If you don't use one or have one, I really, really urge you to get one. They make life better. They're just awesome. Things taste better in them, I believe. So, that's what we're doing. That's going to melt, and we're going to mix it up. Okay, I'm really bad about not measuring things, generally speaking, but... I figure it's gonna be easier if I do that for y'all. And I do with cornbread, I don't with biscuits. But there's a cup of that. And then I've already shook up, shaken up, shook, shake, shook. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, a cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna pour that in there. And then I'm gonna crack this egg. Um, can I do this with my left hand? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Pretty sure I've never done that before without making a huge mess. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of canola oil, a tablespoon of canola oil, and we're going to keep rolling. And then we're just going to stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. And this is the beginning of something beautiful. Hold tight. Okay, we have beautiful melted butter. I almost let it go a little too long. It's going to be fine, though. It's all going to be fine. I wish I could, I could do this. Hold on. I need props. I need little places to put my phone, and I don't have any. So, this is what we're doing. I have. Oh, do not hold the handle tip of the day pro tip do not grab the handle right out of the oven ask me how i know because i've done it many times so we have our melted butter here we go there we go melted butter okay and oh my goodness welcome to my world y'all the world of a professional vlogger just kidding i'm not i don't even know i had it wow that was so hard Okay, now we're going to pour our cornbread mix on top of the butter. The butter, butter is a really good base. <laughs> it's a good base, it's a good base. Butter makes everything better. I believe that so much I had it put on a towel. You can buy one from me. Anyway, that's just an aside. Okay. Just put that in there. I don't, I don't, I don't normally like spread it around, but we'll do that. And then we put it back in the oven and I will tell you how long it cooks. I don't really have a set time. I just keep an eye on it. And when it gets golden brown on the top, I take it out. It's usually around 30 minutes, but I'll let you know. Okay. I just poured a cup of canola oil in here to get hot. I'm going to put it on about medium. 
Um, I have been known to use Crisco. That is what my Granny Grace used. Crisco, like in the solid form. Uh, I don't have any. I do have lard. I have some lard, but we're just going to use this and it's going to work just fine. So use what you got. Okay, it's like deja vu. I use the exact same measurements for this cornbread. We are just going to cook it a little different way. That's all. And like I say, both are great. My Granny Grace, when she fried her cornbread, one of her other staples that she cooked amazingly was chicken pastry, chicken stew, chicken and dumplings, whatever y'all call it. Hers was actually pastry because she would roll out the pastry, cut it up, boil it. Anyway, and I can just picture her over the stove frying her cornbread and her little apron and moo moo. I wish y'all could have met her. She was amazing. How many times have I said amazing already? Somebody go back and count. Maybe you'll get a prize. It's a lot. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so I just did a thing. I flicked some water in there just to see if it was hot enough. I think it is. When it starts singing like that, that's when I'm, I'm ready to start singing with some cornbread. And now we're really singing. We're singing, y'all. These little bubbles. Bubbles of happiness. Bubbles of fried cornbread happiness. I'll let this cook for just a little bit till it gets brown on the bottom, then I'll flip it. And our cornbread in the oven is coming along amazing as well. It's also bubbling. So many bubbles. Okay, I flipped it. It looks good. It looks really good. And it smells even better. I believe I could have used a little less oil, maybe three quarters of a cup. I'll just throw that out there. Okay, I believe, see that? We've reached peak fried cornbread perfection. I like using the slightest thing. I'm gonna put it on paper towel lined baking sheet because yeah, it's a little greasy. But grease grease is grease is our friend. I mean, when it comes to fried cornbread. Now I'll do some more. And we are cooking with gas, y'all. And just to show you what I'm using, I'm using a little ladle. It's really the perfect size. And we are almost done. So we got three more here. So far so good. All right, those are almost done. And in true fashion, when you're trying to cook more than one thing, it all gets done at the same time. That did not take 30 minutes. That took about 25 minus eight is 17, 17 minutes. And you can see the delicious butter. It's, it's surrounded by butter, which is awesome. And these are, these are done. Let me, and just for good measure, I'm gonna put a little bit more butter on top and let that melt. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff right there. So that's gonna wrap up our cornbread vlog. Thanks for tuning in. And so the very best part about cooking cornbread is not just how easy it is, but actually eating it. Just like Granny's, on time. I hope you will try it if you haven't already. Come back and let me know what you think. And all the skillet family is now clean. And the cornbread is ready for the fam. I think I'll go take some to the field. Where are my children? Oh, oh. <laughs> Do not do that again. Did I scare you? Yes. What were you doing? Hang <laughs> on me. Are you ready for lunch? Yes! yes. Best cornbread ever. <laughs> oh, you're the best.
I did put extra butter. Butter makes it better, right? You're the best daughter ever. How about that? Very good. All right, so this'll do. This'll do, I reckon.